Now, your weather authority forecast, sponsored by Greenway of the Shoals, a new way, the right way. Greenwayofthesholes.com. It's been a rainy morning and a rainy start to our afternoon here across the Tennessee Valley. The good news is, is that the rain that's been pouring across West Tennessee is starting to fade away. All those showers and storms that were moving our way are now starting to erode and leaving us with just a few light rain showers moving out of West Tennessee and into Northwest Alabama into Southern Middle Tennessee. Fayetteville, you're getting some light rain right now. This is the radar currently at 12 12 this afternoon. Moulton, that's where the heaviest downpours are right now, south of Red Bay and down towards Hamilton. Those are our heaviest downpours, putting this radar into motion, and you can see the movement on all of these showers and thunderstorms now moving down to the south and away from our area. Watch out Coleman, though. Heads up, if you're in northern Coleman County, we had some serious flooding issues going on in northern Coleman County earlier on this morning, and with more Moderate to heavy rainfall expected to move on in in the next couple of minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if you see uh, some more flash flooding or flooding concerns from this as rain continues to push on down towards the Coleman area. So those are the areas that got to watch out. Florence, you're starting to see some of that rain let up just a little bit, but this is where the bulk of the rain has been today over northwest Alabama. So we're talking Russellville, Red Bay, Moulton, over to Florence and Tuscumbia. Everybody's getting that heavy rain earlier this morning, now getting some light rain across portions of northwest Alabama. Let's talk about the rainfall totals estimated by radar. You can see the Swath here from this morning of the showers and thunderstorms that just trained along the same regions and continue to push on down to the southeast towards Coleman right along this I-65 corridor and then right along the river here in Limestone County. Getting a little bit closer on this, you can see the radar is estimating around 5.4 inches just to the north of Decatur. So quite a bit of rainfall coming down 6.7 inches just to the west of Holly Pond. This is in Coleman County, 4.3 in South Vimont. A lot of rain estimated by radar. That's why there's still some concerns in Coleman County, especially northern Coleman County for flooding. Tuscumbia right now, things are starting to dry out. Athens, the rain is still coming down outside the Limestone County Courthouse. Huntsville, we are on the dry side right now. I even see a little bit of blue sky trying to peek on through the clouds this afternoon. Temperatures right now climbing into the upper 70s. We've hit the low 80s in Scottsboro and Fort Payne, 83 in Gadsden, 79 in Albertville, and 73 in Florence. After school today, we've still got some of those showers and thunderstorms that are going to continue to work on through as we go through the early afternoon hours. By the time we get to the later afternoon hours, those rain chances will start to come down as we stay in those lower 80s for daytime highs. This weekend, not a complete washout, but still a chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs climbing into the lower 90s, morning lows starting off in the 70s. The humidity makes a return, though, thanks to the high pressure in the Gulf of Mexico, sending that flow back here to the Tennessee Valley, increasing our moisture and making it feel a lot warmer as we head into Saturday and Sunday. The, th the thermometer will read close to 90 degrees on Saturday and Sunday, but it will certainly feel closer to 100 as we work our way through the weekend into the beginning of next week with those highs in the 90s. Rain chances continuing into the upcoming work week.